Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Auto Tutorials by Level Nation Studios. This is Super Sam once again, and in this very episode, I'm gonna show you how you can create automatic lip sync using Rhubarb add-on in Blender. Let's get started. First of all, I wanna say a big thank you to all the subscribers out there. We see you guys, even though it seemed like we've been away for some time but it's just for the benefit of everybody, right? We're currently working on several projects. That's why we've not been uploading as we should, but I hope very soon we would have that uh, equilibrium spot where everybody will be happy. We upload videos and we still work on projects back end. But trust me, there's something very, very interesting coming very soon. So I just want you guys to keep your hands crossed. Um, tempted to to tell you about what plans we have, but I'm not gonna do that. I won't fall into that temptation. So uh, I reject that temptation. <laughs> All right then, so let's go into today's business, how to create automatic lip sync using Rubag. Now this video was inspired by so many comments that I saw on the YouTube channel about people complaining on how they're unable to download uh, the, um, I forgot the name of this other, Papagayo, yeah, the Papagayo add-on. Most people complain about how difficult it is for them to get the um, the, ad the add-on. I don't know why the add-on was taken off the website, although I personally have the, the add-on. So if you still want the add-on, you can reach out to me and I'm gonna send it to you. But Papagayo should be free, I guess. I'm sure it's free. Yeah, Papagayo is free. free. So if you need the add-on, let me know. I'm gonna send it to you directly. But for those who are also interested in getting other means of creating automatic lip sync for their character, here you have Rubber Lip Sync, also good as well. I used it for one of the projects where I had to animate the lip sync for a particular character for about four minutes or thereabouts. So I used it and it was, it was interesting to work, work with as well. So I'm gonna show you how you can add that to your arsenal of uh, animation skill sets. So let's get started. All right, I'm gonna uh, bring up my character rig so you can see the rig I'm working with. In this very video, I'll be working with um, Auto Rig Pro and this same principle works with any other rig in Blender, be it Rigify, be it Blend Rig, or be it your own custom rig. This would also work the same way. All you need to do is just follow the steps on how this is done and then you get the expected results. So first, I want to say that for Rebab to work, there are some things that needs to be in place. Number one, you need to have your poses well named the same way um, Rebab poses are named. Now, if you don't know how Rebab poses are named, you can go online, just check on uh, Google and just type rhubarb lip sync poses. You're gonna see uh, different images that shows you the shapes and the appropriate naming for each of these poses. And that was what I did. And because I did that, I was able to create my own post library here. And if you don't know how to create a post library, we already have a video addressing how to create a post library in Blender. The link will be dropped in the description below. And also, if you wanna rig your character and you don't know how to go about it, we also have another video that shows you how you can rig your character here in Blender using Rigify. The link would also be dropped in the description below. So now that I have my post library, I would like to show you what this pose looks like. So I'm selecting the controls for the mouth by using this uh, selection set. And then I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So this is my air sound. This is my E, as you can see. And um, this is what my rest looks like as well. Okay, so now that you have all this working fine, the next thing is you want to go into the rhubarb add-on. But I would like to give a point of note as well. Before rhubarb can work, before you can see rhubarb here, you need to make sure the add-on is well installed in your current version of Blender. Okay, if you don't know how to install add-on in Blender, we have a video on this channel as well that addresses how you can install your add-on. So the link would also be dropped in the description below for you guys to go there and then check it. Then make sure everything is working fine. Make sure your add-on is, um, is active in the scene. 
and make sure it has been well installed as well. If not, rhubarb is not going to appear right here. So now that I have my rhubarb here, I have my poses. I have each of these poses well named. I think everything is working fine now. So let's move to the next step. You want to map your poses with the rhubarb lip sync um, fields right here. So I'm going to click on the mouse A. We have MBP. I'm going to change the MBP to what I have in this bracket, which is still MBP. So MBP stays. Now for mouse B, I'm going to change that to EE slash ETC. So from MBP, I'm going to change to EE slash ETC. And note, I had also renamed my poses right here. So I have the right naming for my poses based on what rhubarb has also. So for rhubarb, you have the E, you have the AI, you have the O, you have the WQ, you have FVL and rest. And that's exactly what I have here. So very important, make sure you rename your poses according to what rhubarb works with. And to rename your poses is as simple as double clicking on any of these and then changing the information right there. Just double click and changing the information. So that's how you do that. Now it's time to um, update every other information. So I have E here, I'm gonna change that to E. AI, O, WQ, FV, L, and finally, REST. So I'm done with the um, important, I'm done with one of the important steps to get this working appropriately. Uh, the next thing I wanna do is here, you have the sound file. And then you also have another field for dialog file. The dialog file is not too important. If you have it, fine, you can use it. But if you don't have it, not to worry. The next step is bringing in the sound file, which you can see right here. Now, to bring in the sound file, I want you to note something as well. Number one, make sure your sound file is in WAV format. If it's not in WAV format, it's not gonna work in Rhubarb. So if you have your sound file in MP3 format, it's not going to work. So make sure it's in WAV format. And how do you know if your sound file is in WAV format? The extension would end with .wav. So that's WAV. That's the WAV format, format, right? So I'm going to bring in my soundtrack by clicking on this folder here. And I'm going to navigate to the directory where I have my sound file on my system. And here is it. You can see httautolipsync.wav. So this is a WAV file. Double click to have the sound in there. So that's all you need to do as, uh, as far as the sound goes. Now, the last thing you want to do for the sound here is I want to bring in my um, audio track into the scene. If you don't know how to bring in your audio track into your scene, I'm going to do it right now. And we also have a video that addresses that, that if in case you really want to know more about it, so you can check out the video. The link would also be dropped in the description below as well. You can see this channel has a lot of information that you can benefit from. So do well to subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber. And if you're a subscriber, just keep the views coming. Thank you very much. All right, um, I'm gonna add the audio soundtrack and then go to sound and double click on the sound. And there you have it. The sound is right in my scene here. So I want to extend the end of my scene to 103, just to match the sound file. And uh, when you play this, you need to watch out for her. She's a traitor and a backstabber. That's what the sound sounds like. <laughs> the sound sounds like, okay. So now it's time for me to just click on this rhubarb lip sync button and then watch the magic unfold. Bam. And there you have it. Ta-da! It's done. So I'm just going to scrub. You need to watch out for her. She's a player. And you can That's see the mouse result. moving, right? So let's go to the dub sheets and you can also see that you have the keyframes all laid out and the mouse is moving based on the sound. And um, I want this to be very visible, so I'm gonna come here and then hide this as well. So, just to make it faster. You need to watch out for her. She's a traitor and a backstabber. So, you need to watch out for her. 
She's a traitor and a backstabber. Of course, you can see we have uh, one or two issues here and there. And something I noticed about uh, rubber lip sync is that sometimes it flattens out your um, keyframes. Sometimes. Now, in this, for example, this part. This part, you can see it feels like we are in stepped mode or we are in a, yeah, we're in step mode and in the actual sense we are not in step mode. That's because some of the keyframes were, were flat. So they're having the same keyframe over um, every other frames. So you shouldn't have the same keys over every other frames. If not, the animation is going to look rigid, okay? So we're going to fix that quickly. Now to fix this, I'm going to bring back my um, my rig and this is the jaw that is responsible for the open and close of the mouth okay so i'm going to quickly go to the graph editor to show you my point exactly and i'm interested in the z axis okay so now you can see this point here is flattened out so because you have the same keyframe here and the same keyframe here you don't want that in your animation you want everything to, to be well interpolated, right? You want that smooth curve. Okay, so we're just gonna fix this right now. So I have... You need to watch out for her. Now, so this part of... This part of four, I think I can, I can bring... Bring this up a bit, just a little bit. Watch out for her. She's it. You need to watch out for her. She's it. You need to watch out for her. 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 So, this part, She's it. the mouth is supposed to be closed here, but currently it's open. So, I'm going to bring this up a bit to close it up. Her. Huh? To so GY. To close it up. GY. Right. Let's see. Uh, watch out for her. She's a, she need to watch out for her. She need to watch out for her. For her, so this needs to be closed. She's a, watch out for her. Watch out for her. Watch out for her. Watch out for her. So I think it needs to be closed faster than that. So do I bring this down? Let's see. She need to watch out for her. Watch out for her. Okay. You need to watch out for her. So I'm beginning to feel that punch already, right? You need to watch out for her. You need to watch out for her. She's a trick. You watch out for her. So now I can try to smoothen my curve by just bringing this down a bit, just a little bit, and then see. You need to watch out for her. You need to watch out for her. Okay. You need to watch out for her. She. You need to watch out for her. She's a traitor. Now the other part of she's a traitor, I want to check out uh, what is going on there. So I have. She's a traitor. She's a traitor. Out for her. She's a traitor. And mind you, make sure um, your playback is running at the the right speed and time. And this is how you know this value here. You can see FPS. That's frame per second. So I have 24, which is uh, which is the right thing. Okay. So make sure your frame per second is 24 here if you're animating in 24 frames per second. If not, your playback would not really sync with your audio. Okay, it's just a point to note though. Out for her. She's a traitor. Need to watch out for her. She's a traitor. Need to watch out for her. She's a traitor. Need to watch out for her. So the she, I think the mouth should be opened earlier. So I have to open this earlier than what I currently have. And of course, I need to bring this up as well, so I don't have dead frames in between. Okay, so let's go in here and see what this is doing. So I need to bring this up more.
Okay. She's a traitor and a doubt for her. She's a traitor and a doubt for her. She's a traitor and a backstabber. You need to watch out for her. She's a traitor and a backstabber. Okay, so. You need to watch out for her. She's a traitor and a backstabber. You need to watch out for her. She's a traitor and a backstabber. You need to watch out for her. She's a traitor and a backstabber. All right. You need to watch now out you can. She's a you can go as perfect as you want to, you can go as deep as you want to, but for the purpose of this exercise, I think I've been able to show you how you can quickly tweak your stuff. Now, for me, if I'm going to do this with a project, on a project, if I'm going to do this on a project, I would like to work on the corners of the mouse as well. So I'm just going to go into each of the, the channels, the, the location channels, X, Y, Z, and then tweak everything using the curves, make sure my curves are doing something pretty. Because if you check out the um, Y axis as well, or the X axis, you can see those dead frames as well, right? For example, in between uh, frame 55 and frame 58 of this, the straight line, you don't want that. So I would knock out all those things. But in order not to waste too much time on this video, this is where I'm going to call it a wrap. I hope you've gained one or two things on how you can create um, automatic lip sync using Rhubarb add-on in Blender. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel if you've not done so, and also don't forget to click on the notification bell if you want to get notified every time we upload new videos like this. But until next time, keep your creativity blending.